I'm making the break tonight. Well, good luck, Flash. Our stretch will soon be up. If you make it, we'll meet you at the hideout. And don't lose the map. Hey, the chief's in Raleigh. Tell him we sent you. You never told me his name. What is it? Come on, you mug. Break up that sewing circle. Hey, camera. Oh, howdy, half pint. Oh, hey, hi. kid. Great. I'm sure glad to see you. Well, I see you got here all right. On the run, Flash. By Gary, you made it there. Sure, we got your letter and we beat it here on the jump. You look kind of pale, kid. You don't see much sun up there, half pint. Ah, what you need me by is a healthier climate. 
a few days in the saddle, a few nights under the stairs with the pan of rainbows and a mulligan of venison under your belt. Sure, that's the stuff that'll fix you up. Boy, that gravel tastes good. I see I brought my clothes all right. Everything you ask for, me boy. Now then, let's get going. And the way those bloodhounds took after me, you'd have thought I was a weenie. <laughs> Why, jolly, that slick. <laughs> they said this hideout wasn't far from the town of Raleigh. Are you sure that's where the chief hangs out? Yeah. It's too bad you didn't get his name, Flash. Oh, we'll find him as soon as the boys get out of Hell's Edges. Hell's Edges? Yeah, that's another name for the pen. Oh, I see. And you say that'll be in about three months. Well, what's the next move? You know, we ought to drift into this town of Raleigh. No one knows us there, and we might find something interesting. It wouldn't be such a good idea for us three to be seen together. So I'll go in alone, and you fellas trail in after me. Sure. We don't care to be seen talking with no notorious jail-busting outlaw anyhow. Say, it's kind of late for you to be looking after our reputation, Shamrock. <laughs> <laughs> over to the docks and we'll try and trail them from the creek. Come on, little boat. Come on, boys. Yeah, give us a hand. Come on, little boat. Where's Dad? He's gone for his horse. Oh, Lena! Get my horse. Lobo, you've got a wide reputation as a gunman and a killer. Now, it might throw a scare into these outlaws if they knew you was after them. No, Senor Sheriff. I'm trying to change my trail. I'm through with the gun. Through with killing. Although I always shot in the self-defense. But you still carry a gun. Only for the self-protection. Some of my old friends might drop in. And I want to live a little while longer. Oh, I see. Well, I understand. Here's your little little horse, horse, Sheriff. Oh, thanks, lad. Where are you going, Dad? I'm going up to Moose Creek, but I'll be before dark. And uh, how is the senorita? Quite well, thank you. Would I be imposing if I call some evening? Oh, certainly not. Dad's home most every evening. Oh, Leonard. You made it all right, amigos? Sure. Silver, I got the bullet in the shoulder. And the deputy, done for keeps. Too bad it was not the old boy himself. We would have everything our own way. And by the way, I expect he will be dropping in here today. So, you listen to me. Thank you. 
Howdy, Sheriff. Won't you join me? Why, thanks, Mason. I'll just take a cigar. Well, what's the matter, Tom? Aren't you joining us? Sure, have a little drink. Okay. I'll take a short one. All the shooting, young man. I guess that'll explain it, Sheriff. Blood, eh? You must have winged him. Get after him, Luke. Was he after you, young man? He didn't even see me, but the gun was on you. Me? He was pulling the trigger when I fired. It was as fast as lightning. I caught the draw, and as slick as I ever saw. I think he saved your life, Senor Sheriff. What's your name, young fellow? Williams. Well, Mr. Williams, I'm mighty grateful. Oh, shucks, that's all right. I'm not letting anyone get shot in the back if I can help it. Muy bien, Senor. But you have uh, probably made an enemy. Maybe. But one or two more would only make life more interesting. Can't find him, Sheriff, but I'm sure he didn't leave town. He shouldn't be hard to identify. You'll find he's plugged through the rest. Boys, would you mind giving me a hand? Sure. sure. How about it, Lobo? Si, senor. Seeing he was gunning for you, I'll be very glad. Vamos, amigos. Will you uh, take a little walk down to the corral with me? I'd like to have a talk with you. Why, certainly. Are you hurt badly, Morgan? I think he broke my wrist, Chief. Huh. Go to my stable. Take a horse and stay out of town until that wound heals. I'll even things up with the man that did this. Anda pronto. Are you looking for work, Williams? No, not exactly. But I'm not turning any good offer down. Well, this job I'm offering you may not be what you'd call good. Oh, it pays well enough, but it's dangerous. I've lost three good boys in the last four months. Oh, they were all game enough, but they were too slow on the trigger. Now, what I need is a gun-throwing deputy. How about it? <laughs> Suppose you're wondering why I'm taking a chance on a stranger. Maybe. Son, all my life I've had to judge men. All kinds. And after what happened in town, <laughs> I'm willing to take that chance. Now what do you say? 
I'll have to think it over, Sheriff. I'll give you my answer in the morning. Fair enough. Oh, hello, Betty. Hello, Dad. This is my daughter, Betty, Mr. William. I'm glad to know you. Thank you. I'm glad to know you. Are you remaining in town long, Mr. Williams? Well, I hadn't thought about it. But who knows? I might even settle here. I've just decided to stay here, Sheriff, so I'll accept that offer. Good! I hoped you would. Where's the best place to stable my horse? Why, uh, Lobo, I guess, has got the best stable. Come on, I'll show you how to get there. There's a new deputy coming down to the barn. He's the kid that shot Morgan. Don't bust that guy. I'm saving him for myself. But see that Morgan gets away. All right, Chief. Hurry up, boys. That new deputy will be here any minute now. You're right. There he comes now. Get hit, Morgan. Howdy, boys. Lobo around? He's uptown. What do you want? Uh, the sheriff said I could stay on my horse here. You'll have to see Lobo. I want to see the fella that's wearing those boots. You ain't seeing nothing.
Did you ever see that fellow before, Lobo? See, he's been around town for several days. Well, I can't get him to talk. Maybe three or four days on bread and water will loosen his tongue. Hey. Senor, the boys at the barn feel pretty bad about the mess they got you into. You see, they did not know the deputy or that this man had done anything. I think I understand, Lobo. I uh, hope they're not hurt much. <laughs> they will get over it. <laughs> that uh, wrist needs attending to, Sheriff. You're all right. Come on, you. Hasta luego, señor deputy. Say, where's the sheriff? He's not here. What's the trouble? Well, you better come down to the saloon. There's a couple of down there shooting it up. The next time you make a remark about me drinking buttermilk, you want to be where I can't hear it. Yeah. Come on, man. Step back there. Drop that gun. Did you hear something, Shamrock? I said, drop that gun. What do you suppose it is? I get it, it sounds almost human. You boys are strangers here, aren't you? Well, this town welcomes strangers, and we want you to have a good time. But from now on, all the gun pulling in this town it's going to be done by the sheriff. You better come up to the office and we'll have a little understanding. Give him back his gun, boys. Let's go. Looks like the kid made the business. He is. <laughs> Did you notice the draw, Chief? See. Si. Almost as fast as you, eh? <laughs> Maybe someday we will find out. After all, we've done for you, too. I never saw anything like it. What's the meaning of this? Sure, you've got a lot of nerve and a lot of explaining to do. Hey, you might have blowed my hand off. I'm not that bad, half -hearted. Well, tell us about it. It's a long story, Shamrock. But through a lucky break, I've been made a deputy. A deputy? Boy, your oh boy, what a break for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> the boys will be out for long and imagine them finding me a deputy. <laughs> <laughs> Say, have you spotted this fellow the chief? Not yet. But there's one fellow in town I want you boys to keep your eye on. His name's Lobo. And I think he'd like to spoil our game if he got the chance. And remember what I told you. Any more trouble and I'll run you out of town. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Take off your hats. Yes. Say sir to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now get going and stay sober. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm half sore. Yeah, and so am I. I get it, he's going too far. He sure is. He ain't going to make no low-bound, uh, hat-tippin' sister out of me. I should say not. I'll get in with you, eggs.
You say the sheriff will be home at noon? Mm-hmm. Well, I have something very important to discuss with him, and would it be all right if I'd come over? Why, certainly. Won't you come over and have lunch? We'd be glad to have you. Thanks. I'll sure be there. Who is this Caballero? This fellow they call Lobo. Lobo? <laughs> Why, Lobo is one of our most esteemed citizens. Peculiar cuss, Lobo. He blew into this country about 10 years ago with the reputation of being the fastest gunman in the Southwest. A couple of hombres followed him across the border. <laughs> but he got them. Both of them. And he hasn't thrown a gun since. Oh, by the way, Betty told me you had something very important to say to me. Discuss with me. What is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, what I was thinking about was just this. I was wondering what what you might think of starting a, a buttermilk route. Buttermilk? Buttermilk? Yeah. You know, there's nothing more healthy than buttermilk, and we could get a couple of good steers, and I mean cows, and we might make something on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I have several important letters to write. We'll take up the buttermilk question later on. Very well, sir. Well, of all the important business discussions, that's the best I've ever heard. Well, it might not be such a bad idea at that. By the way, you might make out that buttermilk route while you're walking. <laughs> Buenos dias, senorita. And how are you, senor deputy? Just fine, thank you. You'll find father inside. I did not come to see your father. But that's all right. Some other day, maybe. Hello, Lobo. Come on in. Muy bien. Gracias, señor sheriff. He came to see you, didn't he? Mm-hmm. You don't like him, do you? Would you care? <coughs> Howdy, Howdy, sir. sir. Why, Gary, ain't it the truth? 
sure a woman has to be mixed up in everything. I knew those Drake brothers. They were sure tough hombres. Drake brothers? We are laying off everything for a while, amigo. I have a big price deal coming up. Something I have waited for many years. You will see. By the way, Sheriff, I've got some personal business that I have to attend to. But it'll take me out of town for a week or ten days. Well, when do you want to leave? I'd like to leave tomorrow if I could. Say, you ain't getting off the job, are you? Because I sure would hate to lose you. <laughs> you couldn't lose me now. All right, go ahead. Thanks. I'll get back as soon as I can. When are you leaving? Tonight. The boys are headed for the hideout, and I want to get there before they do. But remember what I told you, and keep your eye on this umbre Lobo. Right. But you watch your step, kid. All right, Shamrock. So long, half pint. So long, Slash. Can't you tell me why you have to leave? I'd like to, Betty. But it's real personal. When I come back, there's something I want to tell you. Can't you tell me now? I love you, Betty. I love you, too. Then you'll marry me someday? Any day. What's the matter, Betty? Oh, I don't know, Dad. I'm just, just... Just lonesome, eh? Yeah, I guess that's what it is. Well, I don't blame you. He's a mighty fine boy. By the way, Betty, I'm riding over to Three Forks tomorrow with the El Monte Mine payroll. Don't you want to come along? Sure, Dad. I'd like to. Fine.
Howdy, Chief. Don't you remember me? Joe Dante. God, I'm always been a long time. I wait for you for 10 years. You look so fine, that's why I don't recognize you. Come on, sit down. Say, Joe, where are the boys? They went straight to the hideout to meet a pal of ours that jumped the fence. You're not cutting him in he on... He ain't cutting nobody in. Where have you got it hidden? It's safe. Right where I put it 10 years ago. You are a cinch for $10,000 more tomorrow. The payroll for El Monte Mine is coming through. I'll tell the boys. Bueno, I will tell you. Just what are You're sour. You're pump moldy. You're both rotten. <laughs> <laughs> we know it. Hey, that stage gets in at 10 o'clock. And the chief says it's a cinch. I hope I'm not recognized. This deputy job might help us out later. Well, seeing as how you've thrown in with us, this will be your chance to earn your cut. If there's any shooting to be done, it's up to you. Yeah. We ain't never seen you throw a gun yet, Flash. Just how good are you? Yeah, I'd like to see myself. Oh, oh, boy, did, did you see that? that iron out I'd there? say I did. Now you Can know you how you got so much time, fella. Huh? Go down that payroll. What's the meaning of this, Williams? It means if you value your life, don't move. Come on, Flash, let's go. I just can't believe it. Neither could I. I was hoping there might be a mistake, but I guess it's true, Dad. He's fooled both of us, Betty. But I'll bring him back if it's the last thing I ever do. Streak it back for town, Silver. We'll form a posse. Now I need a posse. Who'll volunteer to help me down those coyotes? Well, get your horses and meet me here. Come on. Senor Sheriff, I gave up the guns once, but my hands are reaching. You say the word, then I'll bring him back. Fair enough, Lobo. Oh, Pete, my horse. You, you won't kill him. No. I'm taking him alive.
Well, there's the bacon, fellas. How come, Manning, you didn't do as we planned? Yeah, what was you doing in the coach? Things don't always work out. I probably saved some of us from getting plugged. What do you mean? The man I covered in the coach was old man law himself. The sheriff? The sheriff. That's good. A deputy holding up his boss. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chief. It was just like you said, plenty easy. Tarien, I have just been thinking. We will let the boys keep what they got today. Me and you, we will split what is hidden. You know, a hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money for two men. Yeah, but how are we going to work it? Ah, easy. Leave that to me. Oh, amigos, como están? All right, Chief. Uh, very good. How are you? How are you? <laughs> the ten years have not changed you very much. <laughs> That's Flash Manning, the kid I was telling you about. So you are a Flash Manning? You sure fooled me, kid. I sort of figured you were the chief. But I wasn't taking any chances. Me and the boys have some personal business. You will drift out for a while. Hey, Manning? Sure. Go ahead. Well, Senor Dante, where is the dinero? The money? Come on, I'll need some help. Vamos. It's under here. Give me a lift. There it is. Just where I put her ten years ago. She's all there. Arriba, pronto. Take their guns. Say, what's the idea? The idea is I have not waited around here ten years for nothing. You boys can have what you got today. Me and Dante are keeping this. Sabe? The kid will get you for this, Lobo. <laughs> the kid. I am settling with him. Pronto. Dante. Hold him here. Looks like Lobo's double-crossed you too, Daddy. Then I'm taking mine now.
where's the kid? Say, Lobo got away with all the money we had hid, and Daddy got away with the rest of it. Brian, take charge of these birds. You heard him in. I'm following the kid. Who did the shooting, Danny? When you made that haul? What haul? Ten years ago. It was Lobo, the chief. Let go. Get me a fresh horse, pronto. I'm after Flash Manning. All right, Lobo. Atención, amigos. I have something to tell you. Have a drink on me and wish me luck. I'm after Flash Manning. Vamos. Come on. Come on. The best in the house for me, amigos. Hey, Sheriff, here. 
there's your men. Pick one of them up back yonder. Well, I don't know who you are, but you've got the men that I was after. Where's Manning? He headed for town. Boys, you look after him. <laughs> Have you seen Manning? See. Si. <laughs> and he run like the coyote he is. But I'm getting a fresh horse. And I will bring him back. Fill him up, senores. Up to the brim. Where's Lobo? He went in the saloon. Senores, bring to the capture of Flash Manning. Well, <laughs> And if I don't see you all again, give my very best regards to the sheriff. <laughs> bueno. Make it fast, Lobo. It's your last draw. Yeah, but he got Lobo in both wrists. Now, we don't need no sheriff. Get our rope. Get so we better get out of here. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Well, who are you? I'm Cassidy of the Secret Service. The kid's got something to say to you all, and I reckon you better be listening. Well, Williams, what do you want to say? Ten years ago, the South Bank train was held up and $100,000 stolen. The express agent was shot in the back. That man was my father. I was just a kid then, but I swore to someday get the man who killed him. The men thought to be connected with the robbery were sent to prison for 10 years. And six months ago, with the aid of the government, I went to prison to learn what I could from them. They made a pal of me and tipped their mitt about the money. My escape was all a frame-up. You know the rest, Sheriff. I joined up with them when they got out. Was forced to be one of them. Until I found out that Lobo was their secret leader and the man who killed my dad. It is a lie! The frame-up! Uh, you fellas know me for years. Where is the proof? Search him and you'll find it. What is this? Well, it looks as if the kid was right. Son, I owe you an apology. Oh, that's all right, Sheriff. I've come back, Betty, just like I told you. I knew you would. Where'll we go? Anywhere, even in the buttermilk business. <laughs> 